Alrighty, everybody. Well, good evening once again. And um, I kind of came. It's kind of a. It's kind of a newsflash kind of, kind of vid. I just kind of made a new discovery, so I felt the need to go ahead and make another video about it. Um, I guess. Uh, but before I get it, before I really get started, um, let me uh, intro the music. This is gonna be October Falls. Um, sis, I actually tried playing this during my stream. Uh, I got about uh, two thirds of the way in. Um, it's all acoustic guitar, and it just, yeah, that, after a while, and it just, I wasn't into it, so I switched over to something else. I think dark ambient music, but, but, gotta have this going in the background, but originally, what I wanted to do, since, since, um, since I had it on infinite repeat, uh, a little while ago, uh, Hubba, <laughs> Hubba Hubba Zoot Zoot by Karumba, uh, the problem with this is, unfortunately, it's copyrighted music. So, so yeah, couldn't play it. So, acoustic folk music it is. So, let me let me go ahead and get that going. And I'm just going with this because it was like the first thing that just came up on my YouTube recommendations. Like I said, I couldn't play hubba hubba zoot zoot, so I had to find something else. Um, so, so one, to start with, you know what I think would be kind of a neat little feature to have? I, I can't find it in here. Or, maybe it would be kind of nice to know what these uh, stats actually mean. I guess that would be one big thing, but what I was originally wanting to, what I was originally wanting to know is, uh, Maybe this icon here. I guess maybe a, a clearly defined uh, like tool tips or some of what these icons mean. I I guess this means how many times I attack somebody, how many times somebody attacked me, or how many times I lost. I don't know. But like I said, they don't. I have no idea what these mean. But anyway, what else? What I thought would be kind of a kind of a neat, kind of a cool feature is to actually have kind of a, how can I put it? Like where, I guess we're uh, having the amount of times where you're attacked could actually, uh, you know, could act, you know, how do I explain it? Where the more times you're attacked, the better. Because uh, I noticed that I'm going through a lot of these. Oh, frost mage! Oh, 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 hell no on that one. Oops. You know, and I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I fight, I fight the thief class, but you know, but I'm going through a whole chunk of these uh, PVPs, and it just starting to occur to me, like, okay, kind of a, kind of a bad example, but you kind of, you know, but I'm going through. It's like, oh, frost mage! Oh, oh, no way! Uh, 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 uh. And, and then it would say like elementalist. Oh no! Uh 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 uh. And then and I don't I don't really mess with anybody here down below. And then I have to go through and refresh it. And oh damn one two anyway. Yeah, but you kind of get the idea. It has. I wonder how many. I wonder how many other people go through that. You know, let me refresh this. See if I can give me a better example. You know, like another one's like tide collar. I see it. Ah, I, I, I know. Fuck that. Fuck that. You know. Well, there's nobody in this one. But you kind of get the idea. So I, I thought, I thought it'd be kind of cool if there was a, uh, if you can get like some kind of achievement. If a, uh, if a whole bunch of players attacked you, now it would have to be a fairly high number. And uh, there would all there would have to be like some kind of minimum turn requirement, like they have to actually stay in there and attack you, or you know something like that, so they're not um, win or lose trading or something like that. And I did I did make a I did make kind of a I did kind of rant about this in one of my other videos. It's just you know you know if somebody sat there and had Thrall Zolgoth. 
um, the the girl that uh the girl that transforms transforms gems into purple ones, and then crown of sun. But you know, if somebody had like a super mega powerful team out team out here, I ain't going after you. I mean, I'd lose for sure. You see, it, it's but yeah, it's something that I've been thinking about. That's all right, I got the money. Yeah. You know, if I see this, Sunspear, and with the group you got, hell no, I ain't going after you. Fuck that. You know, but, um, but I've been going through this a lot. Um, I don't want to spend the gems. I'm not a real big fan of spending the gems, but, you know, same thing here. Oh, Metalist. Uh, 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 uh. You know, oh, God, throw. Uh, uh, you know. You know, like, I'm, I, ain't, I ain't touching that. No way. You know. So, it just, it kind of, it just kind of put the question in my mind. Like, why would you want to put the absolute most powerful team ever in the freaking game? And, you know, when I'm pretty sure that a lot of people like myself, well, I ain't biting that. No way. You know. I mean, I, I kind of get, I kind of get why, but I'm, I'm at a point where I actually want to put something in here that people actually want to go after. You know, maybe even, um, uh, there it is. Sometimes I'll even put, I'll even have this group as my defense team, just a bunch of peasants. Sometimes, actually, a guy named DJ Screw. <laughs> Suggested this one, but uh, I've had this up here before. Um, once in a great while, I'll have fan service, and apparently, you can't uh, you can't go on camera mode with these. You know, but sometimes I'll have this out here, you know? I mean, I'm not... I mean, I can see... I can see how your stats can be kind of important. You know, so there's that, but again... You know... I'll bet, uh... I'll bet having the... I'll bet having the absolute mega power... You know, group like this is probably going to put off a lot of people on atta from attacking you. You know, you put the most powerful team in the entire game. I'm not touching you. So, and I'm... I'm sorry if I'm not making any sense at all. But, it, like I said, this is just... It was just something that kind of really... Really irked me. You know. Want to fight this one? Nope, nope. Not that one. Oh, want to fight this one? Nope, nope. Uh, here, let me take out... Oh, nope. Oh, I have to refresh it. Just going through a bunch of that. I wonder if, uh... So I just thought it might be a... Uh, uh, let's throw that in there. And then there's some, there was something else too. Um, oh, well, I guess... Oh, I guess it'd be a good seg a segue into my uh, next bit here. No, I sound like a damn stand-up comedian. Anyway, um, I, got a, I got a new group now. And actually, I didn't even put this together. I just, uh, I picked my shrooms and booms. And, uh, I guess the weapon that I had. The weapon I had with this group here, my brand new one. I actually made a video about this. But, it's a brand new weapon that came out called Osseous Tome. Um, you explode four gems for each blue and, uh, and elemental. So, if you have, um... If you have both blue and elemental, you'll get credit for both. Which, um, for the most part, you can literally blow up the entire board. Whereas, unlike unlike Mountain Crusher, it only blows up uh, brown gems. But on the upside, Mountain Crusher is uh, it's it favors it favors defense. Since the, 
Okay, I thought I'll go into Titan, but nope. Wait, I see a Mountain Crusher. It's more of a, a Titan. More of a Titan and um, Sentinel friendly uh, friendly class since you gain barrier on matching brown gems. I think um, Sentinel has that as well. But whereas uh, Osseus Tome, it's geared, toward, it's geared more towards uh, offense rather than defense. But anyway, um, out of curiosity, just on a whim, I decided to go ahead and play my Shrooms and Blooms. Blooms build in. And I figured, uh, no, why is, why is Mountain Crusher not in there? So, but I figured, what the hell, why not? I just went ahead and kept it in there. Originally, I had Mountain Crusher in here, but like I said, the weapon from my, um, my other team, Water Boys, carried over into this. Gave it a go, and holy shit, it works. So, let me go ahead and, uh, let me go ahead and try this out, and I'll show a bit of a demo here. So, just like my Water Boys uh, team, uh, your first goal is just uh, blues and yellows, preferably blue. All right, there's the surge. And looks like they're going to get theirs off already, too, so he can't have a turn. Literally blows the entire board. Creates an ice storm. And I stunned myself. Oh, well. Uh, but, um, one thing, um, the Mirage Queen is both blue and an elemental. And on top of it, they all... And, whoa, 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 let me go back. And they all start with 50% mana. So, like I, but like I said, I didn't put this together myself, and I don't I don't think DJ Screw probably anticipated this one either. Like I said, I, I found this one on accident. So, and, um, and then with the ability, it curses all the enemies and converts all green gems to Doom Skulls. And like I usually do, um, I don't cast this willy-nilly. I would rather wait until, until between a combination of skulls and green gems, I have at least a four or five match. That way so you don't get a turn afterwards. So, there we go. And then just go over here and kind of mop up a little bit and Got one right there, and I can do it again. Any more? Uh, let's just go ahead and do that. Yeah, safe side. Nope, still didn't work. A simple three match should do it. Nope. So let's finish it off. Really? No. 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 Really, it should be the Mirage Queen. That's the MVP. See, like I said, Monk, uh, freezing and submerging. No way, Jose. Uh, I could probably do that one. But see, the big draw on this is Mirage Queen takes blue mana, so Mirage Queen fills up a hell of a lot quicker than my uh, previous build. Now uh, just keep doing this until keep doing this until see if I can get as many of these people. I don't think, yeah, he's impervious, so. I've got to get the, um, I've got to get that off here at some point. Almost, but not quite. So, 
still on the lookout. Nothing else, so I'm gonna have to blow the board. And once again, that's a no that's a no go. Almost but not quite. Need a greeny right there. But that'll do. There we go. Now everybody's cursed. Which didn't matter much. So I uh, one shot him. And then I forgot to mention earlier too, I mean this weapon also also causes an ice storm. So blue gems are falling more often, which which will eventually add up to to another uh, another cast. So, oh, and uh, this this was also what I was wanting to talk about. I. Forgot to say it earlier, but I wish I could. Um, I think they need to update this to where. I mean, it doesn't have to be infinite or anything, but they should, like, increase it to like ten or fifteen or something. Cause now I have to be like super sparingly with these. And I think um, at least in my mind. Whenever another player gives me either a helpful or a high five, that tells me they, that I'm assuming that it's because they like the uh, they like my defense team. Because I'll do this for uh, other players too. Like if uh, like if my opponent was a uh, here, let me show you. If my team was this, or if, if the uh, team I'm up against is like a treasure team, I'll always make sure to at the very least fun them. Either fun them or, or if I'm actually on their profile screen, um, high five or uh, helpful them, you know, just kind of out of appreciation. So I'll go ahead and do one more, and then I'll probably just go ahead and call it good. Yeah, she's part of my fan service team. Okay, so Billet is up again. There we go. And it's up again. Almost, but not quite. Nope, oh, there's one.
Okay, but otherwise, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm um, just wanted to just wanted to put all that out there. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.